when I was a kid, I saw a guy in a McDonald's that was covered in tattoos, and I thought it looked tough. As I got older, you know, I wanted to travel and see the world and things like that, and uh, I didn't really have like a college education or anything of that nature, and I was covered in tattoos. and. My, uh, the guy that owned the shop said only way to travel is to become a tattooer or a merchant marine and I didn't really, you know, I thought tattooing would be the better of the two. My style of tattooing I would say is uh, rooted in kind of western traditional style but not limited to that either, you know, like try to uh, take outside influences and add to it and just try and have fun really doing all the the uh, variety of stuff that came from um, you know being a walk-in tattooer and tattooing whatever people ask for uh, I think it's definitely influenced the direction of of that you know that's that that style you know like rather than keeping it strictly uh, adherent to the old tradition or whatever uh, bringing all these other things into the way I draw and stuff. My all-time favorite tattooer ever was, is Ed Hardy. And I got a tattoo from him in 2001. And it really kind of changed my entire outlook on tattooing and just everything. I mean, he introduced me to some people who are like really close friends of mine now. And you know, like that whole experience was incredible. Just watching the way he tattooed and, and uh, Getting tattooed by somebody that you uh, that you've kind of looked up to your entire time that you've known anything about it, you know what I mean? It was a pretty big, big deal, you know. I got my first tattoos when I was a teenager, and I just kept getting tattooed whenever I could, whenever I had money in my pocket. I kind of hung out in shops uh, whenever I got a chance to, and eventually I found somebody to help me get started. When I first started tattooing in New York, though, tattooing was illegal, it was underground. So I, I worked uh, out of my apartment like everybody else with no sign out front. None of the tattooers wanted the band lifted because basically it kind of helped keep all of the competition out. And so we were completely fine. I think in the 30 years that it was illegal, I don't think any, not one tattooer ever actually got busted for tattooing. I probably became a better tattoo artist when it was legalized because I went from working by myself to working with other artists. Anybody will benefit from working around other people and, you know, just having that extra inspiration and, you know, feeding off of each other, you know, your creativity and it kind of drives you a little bit more. My style of tattooing is uh, very very heavily influenced by American traditional. Um, I'm not like a straight up like traditional American tattooer. I, I try to add a little bit more to it. I try to, you know, render things a little bit more accurately. Um, I try not to rely too heavily on the old style and just trace all that stuff, which kind of a lot of artists do at this point. Um, so I would say I do have like an updated kind of, a, you know, style to what I do. I haven't really gotten his tattoos the last few years. I mean, once my arms got filled up, I kind of slowed down. But uh, I like getting tattooed from the old guys. I mean, they have all the cool like stories and everything. I mean, some of my tattoos that I'm most proud of are I have, like my Bob Roberts tattoo, or I got this one from Mike Malone in Honolulu out of Sailor Jerry's old shop, you know, in, in Chinatown. Um, Mike's actually passed away now, you know, but he was. Uh, really cool to have had a chance to be tattooed from him. Music. All the bands that I was listening to when I was a kid had tattoos, so that's kind of how I got interested in it and started drawing tattoos like they had on my classmates and, you know, I'm just doodling. But, so yeah, that's how I got interested in it. But back then, tattooing was very much biker related. So I didn't really think of that it was possible for me to become a tattooer because I was not like really biker-ish. It's mostly just based on traditional stuff, but I guess a newer version of it. But like the, the, the foundation of it is based on traditional American tattooing. Like symbol, bold line, but 
But then again, next week I might do a bunch of small details. It always changes. Well, when I started, it was more, I, I didn't know that much about American traditional, so back then it was more like new school and stuff, um, more graffiti inspired work. Um, so, and my teacher was uh, way more into like American traditional stuff, so he kind of introduced me to that. And that just caught on. It, it, I mean, I, I enjoy the American traditional because it's nice and bold and you can see what it is from a distance and it will last longer instead of too many small details. Right now I am doing one of my favorite pieces for this convention that I drew up. It's, um, it's a rose, a classic old school rose with a big upside down cross and a big burning church coming up behind it. So that's the theme for this convention. It's uh, metal stuff and satanic stuff. I had some friends when I was about 17. They had a tattoo shop in Venice when I was living in Italy. And uh, they were like, they were so involved in Japanese tattooing already. And we were just going to gigs together, that kind of stuff. And um, they showed me all of these books of amazing artwork from Japan and I kind of fell in love with them. And then it's just been a little bit my friends pushing me, you know, just so I, I was good at drawing, so I like, I'll buy the machines and, and, then I, and then I bought the machines and I started tattooing. Well, my style um, is a little bit weird because my heart is set on Japanese, but most of the people know me more for like, I think they call it now traditional, something like that. So it's all very Victorian uh, inspired. Uh, so I've got these two different styles and I love them both and I can't really give up to none of them. So I'm just doing both of them really and just, you know, try to concentrate more on the Japanese at the moment. But, you know, it comes and goes, but, you know, I try to do my best in you know, both styles. My style evolved with the technique as well and the more you tattoo, the more you know what you're doing and you feel a little bit more confident. Um, but yeah, I think it's just been a you know a natural evolution of the things that I liked at the beginning. I carry on doing them. I didn't, you know, it's not like I woke up one morning and I thought, oh, today I'm going to do Victoriana style forever. It was just like a passion that I had for a long time. So even before I started tattooing, even before, you know, I even thought about tattooing.